So it's ideal really, bring the car in one end, take it out the other. If I leave them off and put the doors on first and then put the doors on, sorry, put the skirts on, then put the doors on. No, put the doors on, then put the skirts on. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So, I haven't been filming much this last few sessions. I think the last two times I've not filmed anything or very much. But I'll show you what we're up to. This is now all masked up and prepped, ready to put the black on. Got all the cars covered that need covered. And we've run out, well, we've run out of stuff for our sort of covered, covered Rudy's over there, but I'm not going to be making a lot of overspray. So, the bodies ready to black now the back of the doors are sort of ready to do as well that section there is now in and, and, and bonded on i actually used fiber fill in the back of it clamped it on let it go off and then put the bond around the edge they're prepped as well but this is still soft and i need to wash off the washing up liquid that i put on to smooth the surface so see that's that one and that's that one so i'll do them next time we're just going to do that, that there. Right, that's the black on. I was just saying to Jonathan, it was like Sunday dinner. Took ages to prepare it and 20 minutes to eat it. Probably missed a bit. Jonathan was there spotting us and pointing at bits that I was still needed to hit, but there's probably more. But if there is any more, we'll just rattle can it really, yeah. It's just, there, won't, there won't be much. See it's starting to go matte there. Well, it's not matte, it's satin. It's a satin black. Just left that corner, just blow that in just by doing these it meant that we can fit the doors and then parts out the way because otherwise they would have just been left laid about wouldn't they and it's uh, better to have them on the car jonathan's over there moving some stuff about dinos and stuff so he's got the forklift on the go so i don't want to start messing on with the car yet and it's a sunny day outside so i'm gonna go and get a video of the uh back curve with the drone. I did do this the other day but it wasn't sunny and the footage seems to have went missing. Alright so I've come around the back to sort of see what I'm doing and see where the drone is and I'm out of the sun. So this is a building. It's a lot of rubbish outside needing gotten rid of and probably still some in it. That's Jonathan's garage there, or the back of it. So if I want to pop over, it's just a wander across the field. I'm sure there'll be a little track worn in there soon enough. That's Jonathan's old garage there on the left hand side. That's where he started. This bit over here, this big circle, that's sort of within Jonathan's bit as well, really, because that, that bit there, that triangle, and that building there is also Jonathan's. So that bit out the front is also Jonathan's really. Nobody else needs it. So I reckon we could uh, have some antics on that, on that on that track. Look, this, this could be Carlisle's first race track. Well, actually we've already got a race track, but as far as go-karts go, and this isn't exactly, <laughs> the go-kart track's bigger than that, but there's Jonathan messing on with the forklift. There's the Datsun on the on the top of the container there. And these roofs, these are like bomb proof roofs. They've got like, I think four foot of, of gravel on the top of them just in case they got bombed. Jonathan's not obviously. And let's go back and have a look at the, the building, the back cave. So that's the front door there, obviously. There's a double door at this end here. There. And 
so that's what, where I'm thinking of like the start of the production line as it were. This projection bit here and those two flat roofs, that's where the where we'll make the kit. There's a little bit of a car park there as well. There's several rooms and offices on this end and then you can see there's in that end there, next to the caravan, there's, a, there's another double door. So that's uh, going to be spray booth area. So it's ideal really, bring the car in one end, take it out the other. And I, I, I know I'm flying beside an airfield, but it, it's actually not classed as an airfield. It's, it, it's an aerodrome or something like that. I don't know. You're allowed to fly here anyway. There's a model aircraft club and stuff as well. So I see Farmer Giles there doing something with his uh, Manitou. See if we can zoom in on him. Oh, we've got an aeroplane there. Let's watch him, see if he's going to take off. Looks like he's about to take off. Doesn't look like he's coming for landing anyway. There, yeah. there he goes. Should I chase him? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stuff is there. Big pile of rubble. Grass. Oh, it looks like water. All right, it looks like yeah. And then this track over to the back there is that where the M Sport were? Yeah. So that goes like right the way yeah, around the so back there. See that bit there? Didn't yeah. It? That's where that little hut is. You know, I was telling you about. Right. So I'm just straightening out this edge because it's not the same on the way down. So I'm just going to pull a line. It's like wonking it. We don't like wonks. I'm going to pull it out to there anyway. Like that. Might as well mark the other one as well. I do have a tape measure, but if I don't move my hand, that should give us much the same line. So I'm just going to leave them on loose until we we'll get the doors on and then get everything tightened up. Actually, it's going to be easier if I leave them off and put the doors on first and then put the doors on. Sorry, put the skirts on, then put the doors on. No, put the doors on, then put the skirts on. <laughs> so today has absolutely flown in. Um, but we've got the sills on now and positioned, the doors are on now. Everything's connected back up, the, the catches and everything um i haven't got them sealed because we've we've made some changes to them this one's pulled in a little bit at the front here so we've just got a packer in there just stretching that out a little bit but that one's done as well and then i've been cleaning out the the back here in in these in these here it was absolutely full of dust like literally loads of it so i've just been hoovering that out and cleaning in some nooks and crannies it still needs a wipe over the seats will be coming out anyway so the interior will be, will be able to clean the interior a lot easier uh, I've been going around kind of getting bits of red that uh, I've missed with the black just down in the corner of the bulkhead and stuff so that's all done and then at the back end because the roof when it goes on is obviously going to be bonded on I will be trimming the roof and it would be easier trimming the roof with it that way up but I don't really have that luxury I don't think so um, I'm going to trim it in place but I'm going to black the inside of the roof first so that at least there's no like white bits fiberglass bits showing so um, it'll just make it a bit easier to get a get a better finish and doing it that way as well, trimming it with it in, 
there's a bar runs across there because we've, we've left that bar on so what I'll be able to do is put some foam on this side and then glue that to the to the roof so instead of having an exposed bar on the inside it'll be trimmed over as well um, so that's the plan with that like I say it might be better trimming it but we haven't got the material and it's uh, not ideal to be doing that sort of stuff in here so I've uh, masked up the rear clam as well so that we can paint the inside of the clam <coughs> at the same time as I paint the inside of the roof so that's where we've got to today sills and doors back on positioned ready to seal into place the uh, roof almost ready to go on there's been a lot of other bits and pieces that we've been doing as well i haven't filmed much today really we've trimmed this edge off there was remember there was a lip on there we've got the holes drilled for where it's uh, bolting on uh on the on the sides because we had like temporary bolts in going straight down because it came down and then had a lip and we'd just tech uh, tech screwed it into there but now final fit it's going to be bolting into the these original holes here you see them be bolting into them so that'll be a lot neater but uh, yeah I've not filmed a lot today just because it's just been one of those kind of scratty scratty days messing on and not a lot of not a lot of action really so I'm back here tomorrow yeah so I'm just packing up now and getting ready to go home and I shall be back tomorrow morning and uh, Hopefully get another full day on it. God knows where we'll get to tomorrow, but these bits will be painted. The roof should be bonded on. The sealer should be done. We'll be able to properly bolt up the hinges for the roof, or rather the, the clam. Um, we'll be able to get the, the back window uh, bonded into the, into the roof as well. I've been cleaning up that as well. That was, uh, show you. Because this, this, this is the window out of the soft top, you see. So it was bonded in from the back so i've been cleaning up all the all the bond that was around the edge of that so that's nice and clean now because now it's got a bond in from the other side it's going in that way so it'll be bonded on the back so that's ready to fit as well just needs a little bit of thinners over it to get a bit of glue off it and that's ready but uh yeah another thing that we've been doing is is hunting for bolts and stuff because there's certain little i've got a few boxes that's that's full of bolts that so um we've been hunting for for bolts it's not surprised we're losing them because we've got them laid about all over the place Another one there. we've got that gap sorted there it was a little bit tight there we had to push the sill back a bit and that's why we've got the, the those packers in there just to relieve a bit of pressure there so what we'll find is if you stretch the fiberglass and let it sit for a few hours it, it stays there so i think i might have a little bit of work to do on that though i might have to adjust that door check a little bit so yeah, that's where we're at. See you tomorrow.